Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. And when last we left the Avatar, our inventory is laden with awesome loot. We did a tiny bit of exploring without using the horse, and we found a desert stronghold. And within it, I found a saddle, the very thing I was looking for by fishing. We also found some enchanted books. We found a diamond, we found some emeralds, and that horse armor, that horse armor, that is a prize indeed. So let us go and sort through all of our things. First, we need to uh, put away the string. I believe the string is in the miscellaneous loot. The sand can go into miscellaneous blocks. The, uh, let's see, magic stuff. Here we go. We have stuff that we can put in here. Mending, Riptide 2, and Lure 2. The horse armor can go into the, uh, weapons and armor. We only need to put one in there. And the ores, we have one iron bar. This is a food and natural stuff loot. We'll put that in the chest up by the farming area. This is a miscellaneous block. We want one of these, actually. This goes into uh, food and natural stuff. We want one sand so that we can grow that. This also is a miscellaneous block. The golden apples, that is definitely going into the magical stuff pile. We want that. We only want two of these uh, dies to make our banner. And I think that will do right now. We want to go upstairs and put away our extremely valuable loot. I always keep trying to uh, walk past that so that I don't trigger it. But that's really not going to happen, is it? No, no it's not. Now let us put these here so that I can uh, start getting more cacti. I believe we will put that... We'll put it here. Why not for now? Hello, cow! You appear to be stuck. Do not worry. I will help you. Come this way. Aha! And we have one piece of leather. Marvelous. What we also want now is a red flower. Just one. So that we can then work on that banner. But first, we have something we need to do. And that is tame this horse. We shall remove the lead and we shall try and get on the horse and immediately be knocked off. This is going to uh, take a few attempts. The horse will... Uh... Yep, this will happen a lot. Eventually, though, we will see hearts. There we go. Best friends forever. Which means we can now put a saddle on the horse and put on the iron horse armor. This horse is very fast and can jump quite high. That is a really good thing to discover. Now, if we could find another horse that's uh, similar in uh, speed and jumping capability, we could then reliably breed very fast horses, and that is most certainly what we want. But right now, I'm happy with just being able to use the horse so that I can ride about. And I do think we now have uh, some cows that we can try and get some leather from. And to do that, we're going to need some wheat. Fortunately, we can get some using this bone meal that we got from the seeds that we're planting right now. Well, not specifically these seeds, of course. There we go. And why don't we put these in here and get some more bone meal? Such a great thing to have, a way to uh, easily get rid of unwanted seeds. That horse is looking pretty heavily armoured, as armoured as we are. It's appropriate that uh, it is iron horse armour that we found, though we could have found much better. We could have found some gold horse armour, which actually uh, for horse armour is better. Or we could have found some diamond horse armour. 
And we only got one piece of leather, but that's fine, because that means we now have enough for two more bookshelves, I believe. We're getting there. We're a fifth of the way there. And, uh, yep, that is a sixth book. So let us put that there, get all of these, and head downstairs. We are going to be doing a lot of exploring pretty soon. A lot of exploring. But first, we want to, uh, don't know why I was looking there. I want to actually look here. We want some wood. Is that going to be sufficient? It will be sufficient, with a little bit of wood to spare. Two more bookshelves. Down we go. Down to here. Now we have three. Excellent. We'll pop back up. We will, uh, get a loaf of bread. And I think I have left, like a fool, my, uh, banners in the chest outside. Have I? Yes, and it's just starting to get dark, so it's a good thing that I uh, popped out to get these now. While I'm thinking about it, let's quickly grab some more wool. There we go. And then we will rest. After, of course, we put the uh, paper here, that there, and that'll do. Just, uh, thought I'd have a look over there just to see if there was anything else I wanted to do, but no! Let us sleep. It is morning! And there's so much that we can do, so many places that we can explore, but first things first, let us go and make a banner. A specific design. So what we do is, uh, we put the red banner in here, and then we put the yellow dye in here. And the first thing I want to do, we have a huge selection of things that we can uh, put on the banner. And we can keep layering a design on top of another design to make more complicated designs. Some of them are not available though. We will need a specific design from a villager to unlock them. But the ones we want are here. We want this one first, so that we have that. And then we will, uh, grab that. It doesn't look like much right now, but it will do soon. Second, we want this. Do you see what I'm making? Finally, we want this. That is the closest that we are going to get to an Ankh. So, we shall put this in the, uh, crafting table and call it Banner of the Avatar. Or just Ankh Banner. That's probably better. Ankh Banner. One enchantment level down, and a potential uh, chance to damage the anvil, but that didn't happen. And we have the Ankh Banner. And we can now make another one. And what we're going to do is, we are going to, if I can here... Not there. I think it's actually here we need to do it. There we go! Now our shield is called a red shield, and it has the Ankh on it. A shield worthy of the Avatar. We shall uh, put some stuff away now, because we don't need this wood. We are going to need this bed, though. We're not going to need the uh, banner. The banner can stay up here, actually, I think. The banner will stay up here. There we go. And what we want to do is make a bigger map. We want to make a copy of this map to start with, though. So actually, I want to go back down and uh, make another compass. And put our compass there. Not that it's really going to matter, because it will be consumed. But if I decide to uh, stack the compasses, that won't matter. Compass here. Empty map here. And then, if I put the empty map and this map together, we get two. So now we have a copy of that map, which I, for now, am going to put in the uh, miscellaneous loot. This map, however, we're going to make a lot bigger. A lot bigger. We still have a lot more we can do with it. Now, if we look at the map, it's 
massive. And I don't think we can make it any larger than that. We could. We could make it even larger. But I think right now I'm fine with the map being this big. It gives us something uh, reasonable that we can aspire to complete. Now what I want is, for our exploration, we want a few of the oak fences. We only have one, we need more than one. We need uh, two, and that's not where the wood goes. The wood goes here, Avatar! And uh, there we go, we just need two of these. And that's still not where the wood is. Now that's me just being silly. And two of those. We don't need the shears. We will use the shears to try and get some more, there we go, some more red wool. Don't want to watch out when it comes to walking past that cactus. Don't want to get hurt by that. That will uh, cause durability loss on our armor. Don't want that at all. We have three red uh, wool there. Now we have four. Get all of this. We have used a fair bit of paper. The uh, cows are still not grown up. But we do have that horse. So glad we have that horse now. So, paper. Put that paper there. Keep that there. Put this... Well, actually, we have loads of this, so we might as well uh, make paper out of all of that. And there's a one last thing that we want to make before we decide to go out and about exploring. And that is, we want a spare boat. Because boats are probably going to be essential when it comes to exploring around this place. We have seen a lot of water. And we can bring the horse with us. Unfortunately, the horse is unable to actually go in the boat. If it was a young horse, it could actually go in the boat. But uh, as it is, we'd have to uh, we'd have to bring the uh, horse around with us using the lead and have it float on the water. Fortunately, horses are exceptionally good at floating on water, even in that armor. So we have all of this area to explore. Let us get the lead. Put this. Uh, I'll put this here, that there, because we don't need the compass right now, and get on the horse, and away! Look at how much faster we are moving. It is ridiculous just how much area we are covering in such a short period of time. We are going to need to use the boat to explore certain places, but I'm... ooh, nice hole there for me to explore at some point, but I'm happy just uh, covering all this ground. We will make a bigger map. It's inevitable that we will make a bigger map. This horse being able to, uh... Sometimes the horses will, uh, rear up like that. There's not much you can do about it. But the, uh, horse being able to run so fast and jump moderately far, but not super far. If the horse gets, uh, submerged in water, you will be knocked off the horse. This is where the lead comes in handy. It's a good thing that the, uh, Merchant that uh, arrived did drop one. Otherwise, we'd have to push the horse to where we want to uh, have the horse go, and that's not desirable. Okay, time to explore some more, horse! This is exceptionally fast. Look at the uh, difference in speed. Also, that is not a place we want to go. I see a skeleton in there. Don't want to say hi to the skeleton. The horse does have iron armor. This iron armor, by the way, that the horse is wearing will never degrade. It can be destroyed in uh, ways that other things can be destroyed. Falling into the uh, void and uh, going into lava. But it will never deteriorate from taking damage. It will always be fully effective. Now, we want to... Uh, we're not going to be able to get over this by jumping. If we could, I wouldn't just have a horse, I'd have a super horse. There we go. We'll travel over here, keeping an eye on the time. And speaking of the uh, time, 
I actually want to replace the bow with a bed, because uh, we don't have any arrows for the bow anyway. Grab the lead, and we shall ride... Well, we won't ride away right now, but we will now ride away. There's a lot of area to explore. And this is not even the largest map. The largest map truly is massive. Maybe we'll find another stronghold somewhere in this desert. I somehow doubt it, but we might. There is the uh, stronghold that we've already pillaged. I do believe there is only one room that uh, has loot in it, in those places. Could be wrong, and if I am wrong, I know where it is. It's really not far away. There is a uh, landmass here. Now, if we want to go this way, we have the minor problem of we have to cross a massive body of water. But maybe we can go around and see if we can uh, get to that bit of landmass over there. I'm starting to think that's not going to be likely, though. Hmm. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. I see some iron there. May want to go explore that at some point. But there is a, uh, another bit of desert. There's also a cow. How about thee? I think you do a little bit less damage when you attack from a horse. Because, uh, that took three hits as opposed to two. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. I don't actually know for sure. Now, that is just an island with some... Yeah, it's just an island with some sand on it. I mean, we could go there, but we're not going to go there right now. We are going to uh, put this down, and we're going to rest when it becomes too dark. Also, to make sure you don't uh, walk away, because they can do, we will use those uh, fences to make a pole and keep you there with a the lead. Right. I think we're going to have to use the... Uh, boat to get over to there, and to other such places, but we have still made a fair amount of progress exploring here. We should probably, uh... I think I actually am going to go check out that area now. Why not? Come along! You're probably better at swimming over this than the Avatar is right now. We can't swim too fast, because if we get too far away, the lead will snap. There's plenty of day, though. And this is not even on the map. Uh, I think we'd have to travel quite a bit uh, north to get this on the map. But there could be something here. There could be more to this island than uh, it first appears. I am somehow doubting it, though. It does look quite small. Imagine if the Avatar had appeared on this uh, bit of landmass. He definitely would have uh, moved over to there, that's for sure the very least, to go and get some, uh, wood. Not a lot on here, and my is there not a lot over there. There's really not a lot over there. This place is, uh, very bereft of anything. Not surprised that I spawned close to an ocean. I do tend to when I, uh, make, uh, hardcore worlds. I feel like heading back the way I came. That seems like a good idea, because we don't want to uh, try and uh, cross a vast ocean. That seems like a poor plan. A very poor plan. There's a bit of uh, floating sand. You don't see much of that. And when you uh, try and take some of it, uh, any other floating sand that's connected to it will fall. Be mindful of that because sand, of course, obeys gravity like gravel does, and it can suffocate you if it lands on top of you. It's not going to be too difficult to get back, especially with how fast the horse can go. This horse truly is impressive. I think it's better than the horse I have in my survival world. The armor isn't as good, though. I do have diamond in that, but I'll take what I can get. I was going to make some leather armor, but... This iron armor will suffice. We are almost there. We can probably get back to, uh... Are you gonna move? There we go. Let's, uh... 
get back on and away. We'll go the long way round. We have seen a few places that we can go uh, below ground and explore at some point. We are going to have to use a boat to uh, get about to other places. What we could do is we could leave this horse here, take a saddle with us in the boat, and when we find a horse out and about, we can then tame that horse and use that horse to travel around. That way we don't uh, potentially lose this horse and uh, don't have the difficulties of trying to bring this horse back over the water, and over the water to begin with, but we can still explore around relatively quickly. Even the slowest horse is faster than you moving. Always something to keep in mind. And usually the slower horses either have a lot of health or they can jump really high. And being able to jump really high, extremely useful. Also, I am definitely going to uh, go over here just to reveal a little bit more of the map. Why is there quite a bit of ocean out there? There's probably... Ooh! You see that over there? That is a sunken ship. Sunken ships can contain quite a few nice things, including treasure maps. And treasure maps are always nice. They can lead to a heart of the sea, which is a really powerful thing for ocean exploration, as well as uh, other loot. Loot in general is just really nice. Marvellous. We're not going to be able to jump over this one, though. But we'll try! Nearly! You nearly got all the way over. Not bad. Over here, and let's go. Jump over to here. That wasn't a jump, but we still made it. And we're not going to make much headway here. Wouldn't it be neat if the horse took one look at a jump and just went, No, I'm not jumping that! And then just knocked you off? That would certainly be more realistic. But then again, the horse is floating like that. Uh, don't think horses float like that. Ah well, I'll take it. Now let us head back home. It's not going to take long to get there. Tiny bit of water. Jump over. That's not a jump. But we were fine. And the horse got stuck there for a moment, but again, we were fine. Nice little bit of exploration. Horse got stuck there again. Must be the way I'm specifically trying to get over these uh, blocks. Nice bit of exploration we've done, but we are going to need a uh, boat to make a lot of headway. That's fine. We have boats. I have a boat on my person, but I didn't want to bring the horse along. Just go over to here, and it really won't take long to get back. There we go. Perfect. Oh, now it's perfect because we have the lead back. And so, folks, when we come back, I think a little more exploration is warranted. We're going to need to see what is over in that corner, and what's over on the other half of this map. I'm going to guess an awful lot of ocean and nothing. But I could be wrong. I probably will be wrong. There may be something awesome out there. If there's a mushroom biome area, I'd be super happy. Then I could get some mushrooms. One at a time, because I don't have access to a uh, second lead. I'd actually need a third lead because of the fact that I have to use one to keep my horse here. But hey, we'll get there. We'll explore it and we will see what there is to see. Even if there's nothing there to see, we will at least discover that there's nothing there. And we don't need to do any more fishing for now to get a saddle. But I will, while I'm thinking about it, get out that enchanted book that is cursed and put that in the magic stuff treasure chest. Because you never know, I may get desperate and decide that I want to use that. I probably won't, but... I might. Who knows? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Ah, it's good to be back. And it's great to have that saddle and armor. It's great. <laughs>